Hey everyone, this is One Man Zerg with UEN.com giving you another tip today. This one is on overseers and using the spawn changeling ability. Spawn changeling is a really interesting ability because it allows the overseer to use its energy to uh, spawn a changeling, which is um, like a very low hit point unit that you you plop down on the map and it looks like this little moving blob. And then as soon as it gets close to the enemy, it turns into a unit that looks like them and allows you to scout the enemy. And the unit isn't automatically attack like the rest of your units the enemy has to actually actively attack the changeling now morphed unit um, and it, it just lets you get that little bit of insight you can drop it in the back of someone's base to see what their tech is maybe uh, you can drop it near your base to see you know if if units are incoming or not it really allows you to have a free albeit costing energy unit to uh, to scout for you and uh, give you some insight without having to actually sacrifice anything so let's watch this overlord right here he's gonna move over here and he's gonna spawn a couple of changelings you can see if we look at the zerg's perspective that he doesn't see what's going on right here on the map so he doesn't know if some troops have come through here and if he's gonna move out with his mutas he doesn't know you know what's safe to move out so what am I gonna find out so let's see he's gonna take these changelings and uh, I don't know if I'd recommend bringing them in in a group of three or or just one because one you're gonna see almost exactly what you'd see and you can see now they come into this load of troops so he's like Oh, okay, well now I know my opponent my opponent has a group of Marines and some Hellions a medevac and maybe a couple Marauders attacking me You know and he judges okay. Well my defense right now is pretty slim, but I think that's not a big deal I should move my mutas out and you know see what else he has maybe go for a harass on the base Because I know that what he's moving in with is an impending doom I might lose a little bit, but not a whole bunch and then he can play this force off back and forth now that he has that you know strategic input were it a huge force, um, he might have to bring some troops back to his base, like all of his mutas, so he could fight it. Um, but if it's not, you know, he could just go kill it with his mutas. And if it's something in the middle like this, well, I, I'll just play it off a little and, you know, wait so I can build up some troops of my own, like some banelings over here that would really effectively deal with an army of this sort. So that's one use for the changeling. I'm going to fast forward. Right here is another use for Banelings, so let's watch what this Overlord does, Overseer. He's going to come in here and he's going to drop a couple Banelings down. Now let's look at the Zerg's perspective. He has no idea what's in this Terran's base in terms of units, and he has a load of Mutalists out here that he's wondering, should I move in with them? Um, what should I do? So he's going he's gonna to play it out. He's going to, once again, gonna bring in these Changelings. Now, he, he once again spawned three, and I really don't know if I agree with that. I would actually recommend spawning maybe one there, maybe another here, maybe another one down here, and try and move, you know, one through the base like that, and one through the through the base down here, and really check out what they have, and maybe get a better perspective, so if he could see if he should bring his mutas in the back or the front. You know, but still, he's using his changelings to see what his opponent has, so let's check out his perspective. He sees, okay, well... He's got a pretty decent amount of marines, so I may not want to attack that, not to mention he has a, some towers. So I might go in there and try and pick off a unit, but then I'm going to I'm gonna flash back out. And that was that was a good use of the mutas, I like to point out. He brings them in just far enough for the Terran to shoot, and then he makes the Terran waste the stim, and that's going to lower the medevac's um, energy level, so maybe the next fight's a little bit easier for him. But um, once again, use that Overseer to spawn those changelings to get that scouting on your opponent's base. A lot of Zerg players complain, you know, hey, how do I scout the player late game? Hey, how do I get info on them? Changeling is a really effective use for that. Even if you run into the front of their army and they kill it almost immediately, you will see what units they have in their army. What's their army composition? Is your army gonna do well against that? You know, what are their defenses? Is your army gonna do well against that? Put some changelings in the back of their base. What uh, what tech structures do they have, you know? are Okay, well, this is a balanced tech structure, so I need to have a balanced army. But if it was weighted some way, like if it was all Thors, well, clearly you're going to have to get some infestors for Neural Parasite. Um, and find out that info. And the changeling is really effective at that. And a lot of players will have an Overseer late game, and you have energy, and you only have one thing, maybe two things with Contaminate to use it on. You can tell this is an earlier version. So use uh use that spawn changeling use that energy of the overseer and get some scouting on your opponent so you know what they're going to do and you know what's coming at you i hope that tip works well for you if you want more tips and tricks you can go to theuen.com or subscribe to our youtube channel theuen tv thanks for listening